3's Anthony Sabella is looking into how you can protect yourself and Anthony, the ones you love. So what are the important things that people need to know this morning? Well, I think it's kind of first what you just talked about fire. I mean, it can spread very, very quickly, right? And the National Fire Protection Association says you'll actually likely have maybe two minutes, even less to make it out safely. And the NFPA really wants to hammer that home on this, the 100th anniversary of National Fire Prevention Week. According to numbers from FEMA so far this year, there have been 41 reported house fire deaths in Virginia, 63 in North Carolina. And in our area just last month, a Suffolk man died from injuries firefighters say he received when his home, seen here in the driver's section of the city, caught fire. So what can you do now to give your family the best chance to survive a fire? Well, the NFPA says first you want to make the first Saturday of each month smoke alarm Saturday testing your smoke alarms to make sure they're working. If you hear that chirp, by the way, that kind of randomly happens sometimes, that quick beep, you know it's the battery needs to be replaced, right? Also, develop a home fire escape plan and practice it twice each year. You want to draw a map of your house with two ways to get out of each room, and you want to make sure those escape routes are always clear. And remember, if you hear your alarm go off, those three beeps, you'll hear those when we come back in about an hour or so. Get out immediately, head to your chosen meeting spot, and then, only then, should you call 911. You want to get out safely first, worry about your stuff later. Anthony Sabella, News 3.